Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a little bit of a quick comparison video between Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon Edition on the left and Elementary OS version 6, or really 6.1 on the right. Now without further ado, uh, we'll get into it here. So starting off, they are actually both based on uh, Ubuntu, the long-term service release, so always uh, pretty handy to know there. Now uh, if we will look at the actual desktop environments themselves, now this is where it's a little bit different. So on the left hand side, Linux Mint 21 using the default Cinnamon desktop environment. Nice and clear and crisp, many people tend to love that one there. Whereas on the right hand side, uh, Elementary OS is using uh, its in-house built uh, Pantheon desktop environment there. I think it's called Pantheon there, not a very common one. But uh, in my opinion it looks like a like Mate, like the Mate desktop environments there. A little bit simplified, not that beautified or pretty there. It's got a nice little Mac OS-esque uh, dock down the bottom, which is nice enough to see. Uh, and let's right click here, very few settings there unfortunately. Uh, next up, uh, let's have a little bit of a look at the, the file managers there, see what's going on. So we have so pretty much much of a muchness here. So if we go click about, we'll see we've got the Nemo file manager there. Uh, Pantheon might be a little bit harder for me to discern which one it is using. I suspect it's using Thunar, but I really can't see it right now. Hmm. Yeah, I just problem is I don't actually have the uh, the about settings menu. I, I always like to have that ability, like the help menu, that kind of thing. It just doesn't seem to exist there at least right now. Is there a properties? No, that's not the wrong. That's the wrong one. But hey, as long as you can right click and uh, open up a terminal, that keeps me happy. And there you go, open terminal, and hopefully terminal. Yeah, that, yeah. Oh, but I do like this color scheme that it chooses to give us an option for. It's not really doing much except for allowing the ticks to be a different color. Anyway, uh, moving on, let's have a little bit of a look under the hood and see what's going on there. So in terms of the kernel, since it is, they are both running off uh, the Ubuntu, the same base, uh, Ubuntu long-term service release. We do have the 5.15 kernel for Linux Mint 21, which is nice to see, and very much the same 5.15 kernel there for uh, elementary OS. So I can't really complain about either one of those too much. Last but not least, uh, let's have a look at the RAM and CPU usage on boot up. Now, always take these figures with a bit of a grain of salt. But, ooh, they're very hard to read, both of these. So the CPU's idling out there. Now on boot up, uh, roughly, we're doing it about 660 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition. Whereas elementary OS is a little bit more, it's hard for you to read there maybe, than me too, 702 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So about 40 megabytes more, nothing to really write home about, uh, something to potentially keep in mind. Both of these will fluctuate though, but um, they are roughly, roughly the same with a slight edge to Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon Edition there. Well, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.